Hello and good evening. My name is John and I'm joined by MTG. And we're here playing Mask of the Rose as part of my Steam Cleaning series. I go through every game in my Steam library, eventually, then arbitrarily rate and or review them at the beginning of the playtime. I don't quite know what the game is, but the game is at random. This was released in June of 2023, so it's not even free and it's already in bundles. Always a great sign. Yep. And you cannot say you you did you picked this game out at at random because I, did, I told you to play well, this game. <laughs> no, I mean it, it got in my library at random. Okay, yeah, 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 your, yeah that's true. Your first foray into Mask of the Rose is unlikely to end as happy as you might hope. Never mind. Save your success to delight in your jouster. It's try again, wiser in the ways of Neath. The city is thick with secrets, but they can't hide from you. Ooh. So, so, Ooh. John. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> in February of 1962, with no warning at all, London fell to the surface of the earth. The end. <laughs> we call it Fallen London. Yes. This is meant to be a year of progress in industry. The Great Expedition trams in a new sewer system. But it turns out we were the sewer. Yes. Instead, we find ourselves dwelling in a cave. It's October now. The fires have been put out. The bodies have been buried. Or so we think. But the furniture. But the future remains unimaginable. The time before, impossibly distant. Yay. Oh, uh, this so, is my background? So, yeah, so question for you. I am a huge Fail Better fan. Played all their games. Uh, well... As many of them as I can get my hands on. I yeah. know they did. Uh, they did. Uh, um, they did the. Uh, what is it called? The Last Court. Yeah. Which I Dragon actually never got around to playing, which is crazy. Yeah. But anyhow, it's gone now. Down yeah. here, your name is whatever you say it is. Often, there's no one left to remember who you used to be. Some people might hold tight to the names as they carried. Some re reinvent themselves completely. So. Uh, I like the options that are not, it's not just Mr. Yeah. Or Miss, Mrs. you know, it's not just like they have, you know, more kind of titles. Yeah. Comrade, <laughs> citizen, um, Llewellyn, Seamus. Uh, I'm just going through. Could you imagine just putting George in here? Like, come on, what a name. <laughs> You can put your own name I in. Know. There's some boring, boring names in here. Yeah, there were some really. Did, did we just see anal as a name? I don't think so. Uh, Tobias. That's me, Tobias, to my friends, citizen to strangers. Uh, so I was. Uh, 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 Mm -hmm. Down here, I'm finally able to use the name that always fits me. Yes. Uh, that's me. Character creators, not my, <laughs> not my cup of tea. Nope. In Neath, All a right. true alley means means everything. When I find people to be close to, I am open to. And this is the most, I think, yeah. foundational thing that I want everybody to adopt in a game that might have a romance element. I which is. I agree Go with ahead. you, and I also think, like, I think this could go further, but, like, this is a good start, yeah. No, this is, this is honestly, like, okay, yes, there could be things for things like, are you open to poly, are you, like, monogamous, poly, blah, 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 that can actually be answered more in-game. This is much more about literally just, like, hey, man, you know, we want you to have a good experience, Yeah. <laughs> you know, and there's nothing worse than, like, you know, cruising along in a game, and, and then it's like, suddenly... hello, it's Bone Town. Right, exactly. You know, it's like, <laughs> so this one we're doing maximum messy. Oh, I, I thought it was just I don't care. Oh, that's not. No, you're, you're saying you're saying maximum messy. You want oh, romance, both and romance physical... and physical connection. Yep. I want them to romance my physical connection. Friendship and matching are yeah. possible too, of course. But friendship yes. is fine. Yeah. So you can go back okay. if you don't want, you know. I mean, it's... Yeah, so this is first one is... It's fine, it's fine. First one is we're, a Euro Ace. We're, we're fine, we're fine. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's there's a romantic, you know. There's yeah. yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm happy with this. That's arbitrary. Yeah. And right. I mean, I'm good. Right now, I'm meant to be helping with the census, finding out who still lives in my neighborhood. The first census results are due tomorrow. If I turn them in, I get paid. The first money to come my way in nearly two months. If I don't, I'm going to disappoint gear is badly. She knew I was in trouble, so she went out of her way to find me work with her own employers. She even gave me a badge to show my affiliation. Badge of the Ministry of Accounting and Recruiting. Recounting. Yeah. Um, I like, so right there, mm -hmm. from a linguistic standpoint, this is all you really need. A badge of the Ministry of Accounting. But adding and recounting, recounting. And <laughs> adding recounting? Yeah. Just gives you that little twist of like, well, this is just yeah. messed up. This is, this is the eerie level. Yeah. You can make mundane things seem unnerving by adding too much detail. Right. Because you're like, well, what, what, you know, when people think, I was like, well, wait, hold on. <laughs> what did, what problem did, what occurred that we had to add recounting to the bat, the ministry? You know? Well, it gets it, it it goes at a number of levels, which is one of the things I really like about Fail Better because it's got that slightly, uh, I would say, like Terry Pratchett oh, okay, level yeah. of silliness to it. You know, like oh, like that kind of Monty Python, like well, you know, like you've counted, but have you recounted? You know, yeah, that kind yeah. of thing, and like, or yeah, it could have that like sinister, like yeah, the dead have been buried. So it's not just that we have to account for people; it's that we kind of have to recount to make sure they're people. still there. Did you count the right. corpses? Yes. Did you recount the corpses? No. Right. Well, we're Exa the we're the recounting now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The front of the badge looks almost like a constable's badge with a lion and unicorn blazoned upon it. The back of the badge is some kind of symbol I don't recognize. Hot to the touch. Dun, That's dun, the, dun. I keep up with the clothes that happened before the fall and a few odds of items I found more recently. Change my outfit. We do not own so a hat. We don't own a hat. We do not own a face. We, but for our lapel, we can wear our badge. Oh, and our tailor's apron. Oh, so you were you were a tailor's I'm kid. A tailor. is your background. I'm a tinker Excellent. tailor soldier spy. Well, welcome your, to your attic. This is from here. You may explore the city called the past. Change your outfit more as the story unfolds. The game will say each time you turn here, indicated by this diary notification. Well, so I guess the I can't only do thing you things. can do, I can't yeah, do any of those things they said I could do. Yes. So we can go to our boarding house. So this is kind of our introductory. Oh. Wow. Hello. So. Ah, oh, you, you can do Grizz. Ah, I thought you were up here. She glances at the badge I'm wearing. I suppose I should be glad you're thinking about census, even if you don't get around to leaving the house. I'm trying to give her like a Kate uh, Hepburn. You know, because okay. the bare hair is. Oh, we're zooming in. Yes. I react to the way I react to many things these days by zooming in. <laughs> by by leading in and staring intently. <laughs> I dare to name the frightening things out there. I'm not sure what who what I'll meet out there. Not everything outside is human. Rumors don't let a few odd things in the bounce seats frighten you. All right, I'm gonna pause here. The lack of animation mm -hmm. is noticeable. Yeah. For a premium, for what what would be considered a premium game. Um, yes. And I would also say that. I mean, she's blinking. She's blinking, but like no, no lip yeah. flap, no, no sway. Yeah. Um, we'll see if she changes emotions uh, at a certain point, and then um, the resolution is not is not being served with a zoom in. This no. should have been drawn at the closer bit video because like i'm seeing lots of aliasing and stuff but mm -hmm. I, you know. I didn't go to settings is there a setting am i on resolution you're on you got a you got your yeah. 4k yeah yeah okay yep 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 come tomorrow evening we need to have a, at least a few census forms filled out oh i'm going to be one of the one explaining to mr pages oh there's no period on mr no. Dr. Dr. 
Mr. Pitt, no, Dr. Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Dr. Pepper. And if that happens, I'm not going to help you with your employment prospects again. Grizz works the Ministry of Accounting and Recounting. It seems to agree with her. She wears trousers to work and comes home at all hours. It's very important to her, being taken seriously by these employers. The next thing I do is characteristic two. So in this situation, um, you're declaring you know, a you, yeah, yeah. So obviously, we're trying to build what our relationship is with Grizz. I'm and just, this is where you could say something to see if she changes expression, but well, we'll see. Yeah, I don't find it easy to go out in all this. The darkness is oppressive. Archie feels the same way. When you think about it, Archie would have done better to go to the Italy or to the south of France and get his training there. I imagine the medical training is just as good and the son would have improved his disposition. You do still have some time tomorrow. What do you think of the questions? They're written almost in a most peculiar spiked handwriting and there are punctures in the paper in random spots. Um, magnificently out of Ask her who, what put the holes in the paper. Why does this page look like this? Does your employer know how to use a pen? I have not seen the writing. I have only seen the ink on their sleeves afterwards. And do they have claws? Whatever their methods, they are trying to restore London and feed everyone and create some kind of order. Yeah, her face looks like it changed a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's, her eyebrows went up a little. Here, try the questions on me. Say you've just knocked on the door and I've come to answer it. You've just knocked on the door and I've come to answer it. Oh. <laughs> yes, what is it you want? Introduce myself to the agent ministry showing my badge. Good evening. On behalf of the Ministry of Accounting and Accounting, I have a few questions. Oh, how lovely. I am so grateful these ministries are looking after us. Uh, uh, Sorry, poorly accept her. This is not too hard. Go on, then. What's the first question? Read out loud the first question. How many people live in this establishment? No, that's not the word. Establimentation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Is that a word? Establimentation? My superiors are enthusiastic emb embellishers of the language. If you like, you can uh, translate into questions that are more likely to be understood. Right. How many people live in this establishment? You can't play this joke on dyslexic people. <laughs> Four. The landlady, Miss Horatia Chapman, a young man named Archibald Reed, myself, and a fourth character, very disreputable. Uh, I didn't ask who. I just asked the number. Please, please keep stick to the script. Uh, build trust. I'm not a secretive person, Grizz. If I seem disreputable, you may only have to ask about it. Yes, maybe. But then you might expect me to answer any of your questions. Sometimes I'm in the mood to want to keep chatting, and sometimes I want to get to the point. Let's keep chatting. Linger right. over the senses. Is anyone in the establish establishment enamorated or impassionated? What does that even mean? They're asking if anyone here is in love. Just ask that. Whoa. <laughs> Is anyone here in love? No. Uh, Grace, you got a you got a boyfriend or a girlfriend? Come on. <laughs> I'll be nice. What about Miss Chapman? I wouldn't assume that she's too old for such feelings. I hadn't considered that. Grace is always telling me to make assumptions. She hates being caught making those assumptions herself. At this moment, a second visitor walks in. Whoa, handsome McPantsy hands. 
Archie's family is in Scotland. Everyone says that the only London fell below, but Archie's afraid that something happened to them too. Oh, they haven't got up yet? No, they don't. Nobody's been able to get up to the surface yet. So this is like, this is basically like the prequel to Day Fall one? in London. Yeah. yeah. Wow. All right. Hi, I wonder where you are. Uh, oh, flirtatious streak. Guess it was. Point out should have knocked. Tell him to get a shave. You could have knocked. Oh, you could have knocked. Oh, oh I'm sorry, oh, Tobias, but something has happened. Out I went this moment to visit a patient, and what did I find pasted up on the wall? He holds up a broadsheet. There's a new decree from the Ministry of Cartography and Chirography. Again, doubling up. <laughs> that all maps and atlases are to be surrendered or put on, put on the fire. It's your folks making these rules, Grizz. I'll stay out of this. <laughs> I have no view. That's not staying out of this. Will you be asking Mr. Pages about these maps? One must respect the law. None of us knows what is safe down here underneath. Oh, it's for beneath. I get it. Yeah. Most likely uh, no, there are reasons you can't I'm putting together. <laughs> you don't need a lore guide and a codex. Just let players play, you know? <laughs> oh, there's so much lore in these games, uh, though. <laughs> that's you. Well, oh, I already, sorry. Uh, most likely there are reasons you can't imagine. Tobias. Please do collect at least a few census forms by tomorrow from whatever Londoners you are able to find. And at the end of the day, I'll find you and we can take the Mr. Pages together. Ooh, quest. Do you know what I miss about the most? Back home, my sister's hair turned color when it rained, blonde to a wet plastered brown. Like a mad hen, she looked. Check out how he's feeling. How you holding up? Worse than Grizz, I haven't won a win a lot. Seems like there's no road out of you. Food from the masters is we reprive. But when you think of all the else my kills below, scurvy and the like. A great Hulk and Rocker fell on a house in Southwark. Did the roof in and nearly killed the whole household. But I best be quiet. I'd like to give you nightmares too. I'm a fair old land laud them. I'm a I'm fair, fair out of laud to help them. with the sleep. Let's talk about the census. Grizz isn't gathering census pages for the ministry. Hi, ah, Grizz only such a thing. Is that what? What's that symbol mean? So that means that you're you have that option because you're wearing the ministry gotcha. badge. Okay. I have heard all sorts of stories, so I doubt you will shock me. Ah. Uh, do you have at least you have your heart set? Wait, I didn't. I didn't ask that. Do you have anyone? Our chance to be quite frankly. Down here, that's no one. But before the fall, there was a last back home, and what did the mother do but promise me to her? And go on. That sounds like a tale. What happened? Yeah, it's not so uncommon, I think. My mother was my friends with the last parents. They were getting on Nia's and uh, her not married. And of course, the whole village knew her business. So my mother said she fixed this up between us next time I was home, but I've not been sent back since. Seemed to me I ought to, I ought to wait until I was finished with my studies. Might have been, might have had a better look to it. The question of stereotype recollection is not considered for a long time. What did I get there? Was it a note? Is that a census? Yeah. Is it bad to say I had not much thought of her since? She has very even teeth. Mother said overlapping teeth with a woman meant defiance, and gaps meant a light skirt. Keep my opinion to myself. Do not talk with the man's mother. <laughs> I see. You, you don't uh, want to hold forth on the, the well, dental benefits. Well, of... <laughs> well, so, okay. We're going to pause here for a second. The area that I struggle with with a lot of this stuff is that these games, these games, these people, these games are mean? designed, and naturally so, to uh, encourage engagement, let's say. Yeah. And by that means is you pro poke and prod at every corner of people's psyches and personalities and livelihoods and stuff mm -hmm. where it's like, it's very rare that you respect 
their individually because they're not right. people they're dolls for us to play with so like mm-hmm. you know i i i am here not engaging because like i don't really want to ask archie about his mom that seems awkward <laughs> I'm sure if he wanted to talk about it, he'd bring it up, but that's not how this works because they want you to always be the driver. And right. there's not going to, I can't say this for sure, but I doubt there'll be a scene where it's like, you go to the bar with Archie and then Archie just talks for a while and you just get to be like, uh-huh, 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 because that's not the action. Well, I think that there is something to be said for games helping people with social interactions oh yeah and that sometimes social interactions neutrality is not a good thing yeah saying i am staying out of this i have no opinion like yeah obviously you know you should you know be considerate of people's feelings and stuff like that but this is something like a lot of people don't know this stuff anymore yeah a lot of people really do not know how to interact with other people and I'm not like, oh, I miss manners and I'm like a social, you know, I'm, a, I'm an expert on this kind of thing. But one of the really nice things about games like this is you get a place to sort of, like you said, you're like, yeah, you're playing with the dolls, but the dolls sort of do have their own things going on, right? Oh, well, this and doll so is hitting on me all of a see... sudden. Sorry? This doll is hitting on me right now. <laughs> well, you have to ask him about his romantic life, so. I guess, yeah. Well, this is, so what's really interesting. This is now breaking the fourth wall. Yeah. Yeah. And which but, I think is good. You do not want players to accidentally stumble into a relationship. Right. But there's also one of the things that I really liked when I played this game is that, I forget exactly, but like, yeah, he does kind of come on to you a little bit early. And I had this thing where I was just like, I don't know who, I don't know who this guy is. We've, had, we've shared eight you lines, know? yeah. Yeah, like as far as I know, he's a drug dealer. Yeah, because he's like literally talking about knocking people out with laudanum. Yeah, and so, um, and so I kind of what I did, there was something where it was kind of like, you know, kind of laugh at his question, and I was like, I don't know what this means, because right. it could be one of two things. You could literally be laughing at somebody being like, oh, you think you can, you know, come on to me, you know, ha ha ha. That's so hilarious yeah, that yeah. you think that I would ever like you, or it could have been a sort of ha 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 ha. Oh, you, you know, like it could have just been sort of a, like a coy, like let's push this off, you know, like let's yeah. push off the question for now. I was hoping that it would be the first one um, or the, the latter one. It was the first one. I was like, it was cruel. And later on, it gave me the chance to amend that and yeah. apologize to him and back it up, which I have never had that in a role playing game before. With no, role playing that, yeah. games, you know, you when you when you hurt somebody's feeling, when you have a situation where you interacted with them and you their their you know, their opinion went down or you hurt your your standing with them, you're never allowed a moment to go back and say, Hey look, uh that wasn't what I meant. You know, mm-hmm. especially in a situation where, like, it's like, yeah, it's a really vague, you know, laugh at the laugh at the question. Yeah. Like, that to me is a really vague thing. And so when you say, uh, and that it hurts their feelings, like, well, that's not how I would have said it. Yeah. You know? Like, and, and so having that mechanism to be able to go back, and I know that is probably, like, a lot of work uh, from the programmers, but mm-hmm. it's just, like, it just makes things so much more relaxed when you're playing the game to like to feel like okay i know that when i say it this way even if it is taken the wrong way i don't have to save scum yeah you know the yeah i i i feel also that games are also in a bad spot when it comes to like bringing players on because like we have known grizz since day minus 15 it's now day 259 yeah so it's like right. we don't know if she has any romantic interest in three hundred days of knowing almost three hundred days of knowing her. Yeah. Like at some level you're like, Well, wouldn't this have come up? Like like that's where it goes back to the code entry where it's like actually you know like a million things about these people, you know, as a as a character. Yeah. You know, you even called it out they even called it out in the dialogue where it's like this is typical of her. Well, what is yeah. typical of her? You're calling out to make sure I know this, but also like, well, hold on, do we do we not know anything about these personal questions uh, kind of stuff? 
Well, that's that. That's the problem because then on the other side of that, you get into lore. Yeah, where do you play? You know, where, where do you where do you set the line? When, when you're saying something like, uh, and frankly, I think that like this was very typical of her to say it like this was very it, that I think was very elegant in their way of saying, "Hey, I've known you Grace know, long yeah, enough." Yeah, exactly. I'm not disagreeing. I'm just saying like that's yeah. that's this weird and dichotomy then, for it. But yeah, it's like you know if we we. But I think the other thing was we know about these people is that. We're all borders. Yeah. Well, Harjeet is not a border. He's he's the cat, the police person. Yeah. But yeah. like, we're all sort of like, and so it's like we're not family. We're not even really friends. We just happen to share this boarding she house got me together. A job, we, yeah, and so it's like we know we know we know stuff about each other because we all board together, yeah. and so you know you have this this relationship. But at the same rate. I think it is art. You you can make the argument of like, but you're not like close friends. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I do feel this. These pages are a little thin mm -hmm. for like uh, UX level, but that's fine. Yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, the season of confessions. Yes. The newspapers aren't what they used to be, but someone is still printing broadsheets these days. Archie bought one, and the headlines read, Severe destruction renders southwest of London impassable. Reports of foreign population. What? <laughs> Relive the fall, and this will recall the past. Oh. I'm always revealing London the last night on the surface. I try to put it out of my head, but it's still there. The dimming of the sun at the three in the afternoon, the sky turning the color of rust, sorry, color of rust. The whole <laughs> thing in the cloud of dust direction west of Meister, it's totally on the bells. The horseman who rode down the street, livery in the garb of the palace, shouting, in her majesty's name, go indoors. And the sky was full of bats, more bats than I thought could exist in the world. Wheeling, shrieking, defecating. Oh, got that in there. People went indoors, they ignored the criers, those that had no house crowded into the churches and under the bridges. Even now, I don't understand how that so many bats could exist in the world. It's not only a part of London, but they were everywhere. Perhaps I should say they are everywhere. Boom, boom, boom. Dun, dun, dun. I reckon it's a tornado. I heard of something familiar in the Walsh Hills back in 1760. Hey, Archie, do you have anything going on in your past? You know, you want to talk about your girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> You also look just as disheveled as you would be, like, say, 300 days underground. Are you okay? <laughs> Nail, light in the sky. No, it's like a thunderclap. That's no tornado, love. That's the plague of... Oh, sorry, I got these mixed up. That's no tornado, love. Plague of the Egypt. Wait a second. She wore dresses back then. It was <laughs> in the journal. Gosh, come on. Uh... I let them talk. I've seen tornadoes. They come and they are moved right on again. And they aren't made of bats. Um, they say tornadoes scatter livestock every which way. Sheep on rooftops and all that. Then the ground shook again. I believe we can blame Mr. Basil Gates. I believe we can blame Mr. Basil Gates excavation. Oh, right, Sticking sorry. about under London, causing a seismic disturbance. And what did he find down Dune there in the cave of oh, three million bats? Is that what you reckon? There are stranger things beneath London. That was the beginning of it, but we were down here for we were down there for hours and hours. The sky darkened and it didn't return to normal. Once around midnight, Giz went upstairs to look open the door to the street, but she came right back down again. She said the cob cobbles were galloping about, it wasn't safe to walk outside. After that first bit, the memories collide with and get confused. I have trouble keeping track of which came first and which came later and whether I'm imagining something. Ooh, an achievement. I spent a lot of days like this thinking back, trying to piece together bits of the puzzle. If I could realize something would make all sense of it all. All right. Well, yeah. I think this is, uh, I think this is well, well made. I, I wonder where like the jumping off point is that people struggle with. There's a lot of stuff to like, go into all of this um yeah this is, i yeah i do not know if you i played this i gobbled this up because yeah. i was already a big fail better fan yeah um 
my experience with this is that I found... So the thing with Fail Better is that they tell stories in negative spaces. This is the first time I've played a Fail Better game where I have felt like I am seeing a compre like a fairly comprehensive narrative. Yeah. Sunless Skies, Sunless Seas, Fallen London, those games all had basically like little, almost like writing prompts for stories. Okay. Um, so you want to keep playing or? I have to check my bread. Yeah. But um, no, I, uh, I think this has a lot of potential for it. Like this is definitely a game but, where like, um, yeah. it's worth multiple playthroughs, there's a lot of things to unlock. Um, no, I, I, I am glad this is a premium style of this type of game, for yeah. sure. Um, I don't know if Fall in London boosted or hurt it in the long run. That's my one question. Right. But, that, yeah. And I think that's kind of my concern. It's like, yeah. I don't think that this is, I don't think that the lore here is particularly punishing. I think they do a good job of onboarding. My only concern with this game is like, because I went in Maximum Messy, yeah. and I didn't really find that there was a lot, there wasn't really like a good kind of, there wasn't a good hook for the romance stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I didn't really feel like any of the options that I was given kind of gave me that sense of like, Oh, good. This is I'm having this kind of fun romance experience in the game. Yeah. Uh, that being said, there's a lot more going on that you can look into, uh, but I just didn't find that any of the like romantic options that were presented to me were as compelling as the other items in the game. And so I kind of feel like when you're doing a visual novel that has a romance element, mm. you really want to stick the landing on the romance stuff, right? Yeah. You know. That being said, I mean, obviously, I can't talk enough about how awesome some of the, like, decisions they have with, um... Consent and stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, super cool. Yeah. Um, cheers. Cheers.